Today we're going to have a trailer loading uh, demonstration. Uh, we're going to run in the horses off the my ranch here. They've been running out all winter. And uh, we're going to bring them in and we're going to uh, select three or four of them and we're going to load them in a the trailer. First thing off is you want to make sure. Now we just ran these in so you're seeing them uh, they're pretty fresh, so we didn't brush them off or go to any special uh, deal to kind of get them ready to load. We just run them in, so they're a little bit, uh, they've been running out all winter. So we just kind of get them so that we could rub them with a the flag. What you don't want is you don't want your horse so that he's pulling on you. And this horse is pretty good about it. His hindquarters will move over he'll find a place pretty soon to stop his feet so one of the main things that you want to make sure that you're aware of is that you don't want to use the best part of the horse up before you get to loading him in the trailer so I just check him out to touch him with the flag a little bit like that you want to make sure that you remember that it's the smallest change and the slightest try and it's like I said earlier, when he was going around there, he kind of got ready to stop. It's not really the stopping that's important, it's the getting ready part. There he goes. That's a pretty big step for a little guy. See, he does that on the ground because he can't figure out anything else to do. So you can see he was going to try that. Now you're careful right there, he could kick you, but I might let him drift a little if he's going to make it. So he needs to look in there, he needs to look in the trailer. Pretty soon he'll find out that he can move his feet. So he's trying. So, now see he might got to go through these things, but this is an opportunity for him to learn to operate his feet with them other horses around and this will help you when you ride him. If you go to leave the other horses, he, he finds out that when the horses are around like that, he can still do his, <clears throat> do what you're asking him to do. See, he's trying to get relief by lifting his head up. Pretty soon his feet will go. See, he wasn't really sure how he got in there, but I'm real careful here not to pull on him. And if I was inclined to in, on it, inclined to, I'd do it and show you what would happen, but I'd just as soon not do this. I just want his feet there. There's a good example of him leaving early behind. He left with the right hind and then the right front. And there's no point in going with your horse if he don't do that. Now there he left with the front, but those opportunities, when you go to ride him, you're going to need some of those things. That's good there. It's pretty warm out for these horses. It's waiting on its feet there. unsure of that see there you go he kind of got in that little bit of a trance there and Tom used to say he'd say that's another place people would want to go to beating on them and if they kind of get iced up a little bit because they couldn't think anything else to do then just let them unthaw there a little like I did I just give her a little moment there to unthaw she might get iced up again a lot of people think the horse being stubborn, but it's not. It it's just doesn't know what to do. So, but the human thinks it's trying to get one over on you, but somebody might say, ah, oh, stubborn horse, why won't you go in the trader? Well, it's learning how to get ready to go. I just wait for his hind quarter, her hind quarters. Hindquarters. 
There. Where was that? And that's the interesting part about the horse. And that's what make, uh, makes it so rewarding for the human once you start to separate what to do and how to get it done and present it to the horse that you don't have to redo it. If, in fact, when you turn them out, if you, if you turn them out and it was right, if you did just the right thing, when you turn them out, they should be the same or just a little bit better. And you shouldn't have to redo that. And that's also why they're calmer in the trainer because you allow them to work at the wrong thing. Put effort into things that you don't want. And all I do is get them to change their thinking and put that effort into doing the things that I want them to do. So it's very... Uh, it's interesting to kind of know that, so I'm glad that uh, we got to visit about that.